I want to lay out initially how I would like to see the beginners taught. But to understand, just like our technique when we practice in the dojo, realistically that technique would adjust on the street. They wouldn't have the right foot forward or behave in the way we'd expect. So what we're really looking to develop is a consciousness that's adaptable to the specific situation that we're in. So, because we've learned it this way, we usually then uh, do our back roll, reversing that by putting the knee down. If we do it a certain way all the time, they're going to just see that as the only way it's done and then they'll do it that way and it will become their habit pattern without them knowing it. Whereas if you force them to do a couple different styles, then what happens is their adaptability grows. So, we teach this other role where you, rather than putting the knee down, you sit near the heel. So again, I'm looking for ways to get this knowledge into the body of the beginners so that there's the possibility that they could do that. Anybody want to do one? Yeah, see how you want to put your knee down? And that's all I'm saying. We're operating out of habit. Mostly what I care about, because most of us probably will always roll on the mats. It's more important to me that we start to break ourselves out of habit patterns and become present and conscious of what we're doing. That's really what we're training. It's about that presence, not the technique. It's different. But if I see somebody rolling on the same shoulder all the time or rolling with the knee down all the time, I'd like them to have the information. I'd like them to develop the skill. I'd say the slower you can get somebody to roll, the more learning goes on in the body. The faster they do it, the more they go unconscious and the, it doesn't print as well. Diagonal path over the shoulder so the head does not touch. Once it's in there and you start noticing it, I think you will develop it. If they're banging their head or hurting their neck, they'll quit. We as teaching staff have an accountability to make sure they have these options. They've known, they've been taught. If we've given our students all the options and we've helped them develop so they aren't in a habitual pattern that they do no matter what, I think we've given them what they need. Again, these are just preferences, they're recommendations to produce your capability to adapt to situations, unexpected, unknown. Okay.